All right, so here's what we've been waiting to see all winter long, is how are these key line swales going to divert the water when it started to melt? You can see right here that it's running in the direction that we were anticipating. So this whole knoll here, now instead of draining into a puddle by the driveway is being spread out all across and will be soaking into the ground instead of all running into one puddle. We're seeing the results so yeah this water instead of running off the pro off the field and straight down into the woods into a swamp is now being spread out so it can be absorbed and this is a method that came out of Australia because they have a lot of drought there and now it's being adapted to places here in the United States where we're seeing increasing drought due to climate change. <laughs> now back before we put the swales in this here was a creek that would run from the road and from that field across the road where there's a drain tile coming into here and it would just make a ephemeral creek that would run right through here and as you can see the water's moving and it's coming right down into our first critical key line. So instead of mainlining it down here and just escaping into the woods, into a swamp, into a wetland, it is now being diverted way over here. You can't see it because the part of it's under the snow and and then way over this way too where I actually had to dig it out a little bit today because we've been feeding them over here and they pack their hay and snow into an ice dam but now you can see since I've opened it up here that indeed it is running in the direction we want it to run at a 1% downhill grade and in the end it's going to be wrapping all the way around this hillside and remember the uh, purpose of these swales is not to prevent erosion, but it's to actually redistribute water from your wettest areas into your driest areas. So it can soak into the ground, be drought prevention, instead of just uh, running away off the property uh, into areas that don't need the water as much as the field needs water. So this one here goes all the way around to the road here. And we'll take another look tomorrow uh, as the uh, winter thaw here continues 
in beautiful northwest Wisconsin.